Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another music reaction. And this time we're going back to Nine Inch Nails, right? I, as I say, I feel like I'm messed up in some of I feel like Nine Inch Nails were pretty um, iconic in their day, right? They were pretty big and I just sort of missed that completely, right? And in, in, in why I'm going back to this particular. I missed it because I was into electronic music, techno, dance music, uh, electronica. But apparently a lot of Nine Inch Nails is electronic influences, right? So it should be interesting, right? It seems like Trent Reznor sort of his his finger in a lot of different pies. He doesn't like to get pigeonholed, put in a box, right? He seems to like showing what he can do, how diverse he can be, how how gifted he is. He likes showing it off, it seems like. So I asked on the last video what I should watch, listen to, what I should listen to next. And a few people said this, a few people said head like a hole, right? So I think this was the, pretty much the one, that, this was where it was going, right? Like I've got a lot of suggestions and I thank you for it and I will, I'll get to them. Right? I, I really will get to them. But uh, this has got to be next, right? So this is Head Like a Hole from the album Pretty Hate Machine, 1989. Yeah, and I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so let's go with it. Bye. Right, seems like a good enough place to stop from getting to it. Yeah, I mean, um, that's 1989. I, I, I know some people who play stuff like that today. So that dark, um, I think they call it metal techno, right? Like, um, but I, that sounds that sounds brilliant, by the way. That sounds them. Um, we're still going to the lyrics. See the uh, the synth line. You get the toms in a very um, electronic sounding snare, right? It really, it's it's tight. Yeah, that's, um, that's I, I like that. Take it, no you can't take that away from me. No you can't take it, no you can't take it. No you can't take that away from me. Head like a hole, I'd rather die than give you control. Just oh interest, is he speaking about like um capitalism and money? He says bow down before the one you serve, you gotta get what you deserve. He's speaking about the capitalistic nature because 
that's one of the things people say like you know worshiping money is the new god god money's not looking for the cure god money's not concerned about the sick among the pure god money let's go dancing on the backs of the bruised god money's not one to choose no you can't take it now So yeah, see, see if we're in, see if we're in 1989, like the Prodigy famously started um, mixing like rock sensibility and punk sort of guitar riffs and stuff with electronic music and drum machines and synths and they got massively like um, elevated for it, right? they, they, got, um, they got a lot of compliments for it and I feel like it's 99 and, and Trent Reznor was this is very very progressive for a rock band to do that in 99 it seems like way ahead of the curve right way ahead of the curve so you've got a synth line you've got them repeating certain lines there's no um, too much chorus verse structure it's repeating the lines of the song like like a, like a, a, a techno song right you've got the main lines repeated so it's it's a mantra in your head right it's like um um bound down before the one you serve you're going to get what you deserve head like a whole block is your soul i'd rather die than give you control i think i think they're talking about money right i think they're talking about capitalism and, and they're speaking about um no concern to the sick and on the back of the poor right i think it's about the world we live in right that's 1989 and it's not got any better, it's got worse. It's been more accepted, right? That's how the world is. Some parts of the world, right? There's some people trying to mock it different, but some parts of the world, it's, it's accepted. And more than accepted, it's been conditioned that, that you think that helping the poor is a bad thing, right? Certain parts of the world, you've been conditioned to think that helping the poor or socialism is, is a bad bad thing and of course it is overall but helping your neighbor and helping the poor is never a bad thing right and 
but I, I think we're on a trajectory and there's no going back, right? Like, um, media has got so ingrained in your heads. Billionaires have got people convinced to vote against their own best interests. But again, I don't play the politics yet. Again, as a, as a song, brilliant. I don't know I missed that. It's right on my street. And like the punk sort of element, the punk sort of ethos with the electronics. Amazing. So it was Nine Inch Nails. I had like a whole 989. And um, what's next? What's next from Nine Inch Nails? And let me know in the comments and I'll catch you for it.